Stromberg with Planning Magazine and the American Planning Association <laughs> and APA's Broadcast APA. And we're here in Washington, D.C. at the Federal Policy and Program Briefing. I'm joined today by Mayor Ralph Becker of Salt Lake City and Mayor Ron Littlefield of Chattanooga, Tennessee. <coughs> They're both uh, distinguished elected officials as well as practicing planners and APA members. Thanks very much for joining me. Glad to be here. Good to be here. Thank you. Uh, you both have distinguished careers as planners uh, in various capacities um, on the private sector and the public sector. Uh, what made you want to run for mayor? Well, in Chattanooga, we had just finished this elaborate planning process, and I was the executive director, and we had laid out a plan. And at some point, I have to say, as planners, you want to be on the decision-making side. And so uh, my friends say I went over to the dark side. I, I ran for office and surprisingly to a lot of people got elected. And I'll say there is a dark side to it because I was elected public works commissioner. And as planners, you're used to making recommendations and people don't take you seriously. And I learned that if you're a planner and you've been elected public works commissioner, don't think out loud because I would go through the city and talk about, well, this road would work better if it were lined up over there. And I went out one day and the crews were actually out there moving the road. And I said, a little literally. yeah, I said, why are you doing that? And they said, well, you said move the road. So it's a little, uh, it, it's like the golden touch, you know, it, mm -hmm. it comes with blessings and curses. How about you, Mayor Becker? Well, I think one thing that we share as planners is uh, love for our community and what its potential is. And and we also learn, and we were just talking about this, that we, as planners, tend to listen a lot mm -hmm. to folks in the community. So I had actually, I'd been in the state legislature for a number of years, which was odd enough. Um, <laughs> but as I was thinking about whether or not I wanted to stay in elective politics or pursue, continue to pursue elective politics, and think about a job that I thought would suit me well and, and that I would enjoy, mm -hmm. Uh, the mayor's job just seemed like a good fit, and mm -hmm. I ran for office and uh, was successful. I think we all have our own stories about how we emerged from being dark horses or people mm -hmm. thought we were crazy or whatever. <laughs> and uh, anyway, was successful, and uh, now it really is a chance to carry out all of those things that we plan for. Right. And yeah. to put into practice both the process of engaging people in decisions but then coalescing what needs to happen for the partnerships that need to happen for a decision to come into, into play. And when I ran, I was, you know, being a planner is actually a positive uh, in elective yeah. office. I want to encourage planners to run for <laughs> office. And um, <clears throat> we were trying to think of something to try to get some attention for me. And our PR folks came to me one morning, I'll never forget this, and said, so we've got the idea for our TV campaign, you're going to be Blueprint Man, and you're going to be a cartoon figure with a big B on your chest. And, sure, and I, at first I thought they were crazy, and we ran that as our ad campaign. It got, of course, attention, which course. is the main purpose of a campaign, of uh, those sorts of uh, efforts. Uh, and it was planning, working our way into the future that we want. So it was, it was very helpful all the way around. And what does, what does being a planner and having that perspective bring to the mayor's office? Certainly, you've spent a lot of time envisioning what the future will be, engaging with citizens mm -hmm. as part of a planning process. I imagine those help. Well, planning is a discipline. Uh, it is a science and an art. But basically, you have to evaluate your present circumstances, project where the community is going. <coughs> and uh, try to put the things into place to actually make it happen in the best possible sense. So uh, that, to me, I can't really think of any discipline that is better suited to politics than that. I mean, it, it's one thing to tell people what they want to hear, and you can get elected telling people what they want to hear, but after you're elected, you better be able to deliver on what you actually said you were going to do. And so planning helps you to prepare for that. I think that's so well said. I, I think planning is, in many respects, a perfect preparation for elective office. Because people do want the people they elect to deliver on what they say they're going to do. 
And we both learn as planners a process for how to effectively make a decision, you know, how to go through and figure out people's aspirations and what the issues are and what the alternatives are and mold some sort of a, of a coalition around an idea, around a solution. Um, and that serves elective office incredibly well. I mean, in my view, it's probably uh, the best training I could ever think of in terms of a thought process. And then on top of it, we've had enough experience in working in communities and with people uh, that we should know how, and I think planners in general do know how, than to work with people to get things done. And that's what our constituency expects from us. Uh, so I, don't, I can't think of a better background than planning for elective office. I wish more planners would step up and, and, and take that leap. Well, as a last question, um, what would you like to tell planners? How, how can planners better <coughs> interact with and serve and work with elected officials? Well, first of all, don't be afraid of elected officials. Uh, as a young planner, I can remember being awed by the mayor, you know, and then I worked with four or five mayors along the course of my career and found they're just people like everybody else. And they want advice uh, and they don't necessarily want to hear just what they would like to hear. They want to hear what else is going on and planners are in a unique position to do that. So. Establish a relationship with the elected officials, whether it's the mayor or the council or whatever, and uh, give them the benefit of the science that you have learned as planners. Give them the benefit of your knowledge and your ability to give them tools that they need to make our communities better. Yeah, this may surprise some planners, but elected officials actually want to succeed. <laughs> they fear failure because if they're not successful, it means they won't get elected again. And right. planners, maybe more than any other discipline, uh, have resources, a touch of the community, um, and if they will take the initiative and get to know elected mm -hmm. officials, mm -hmm. regardless of what their perception may be, I think first of all they'll be surprised, uh, but second of all they will then have so much more influence over what happens. And that's true at all levels of government and we need planners today to get involved. Our communities, our nation, our globe face challenges that can seem completely overwhelming and planners have a lot of the answers out there. Doesn't mean we need and should be conceited about our discipline being better or our answers being better, but we can share information and resources and become valuable in the political process, and I just hope planners will do more of it. Well, I'd like to thank both of you for joining us today. Again, uh, Mayor Ralph Becker from Salt Lake City and Mayor Ron Littlefield from Chattanooga. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.